Well, I love Coffee Time for any time y'all doing this evening. We have no choice tonight. It has to be super simple. We ain't got time to fool tonight. It's going to be hot dogs and homemade chili. Mama's got chili going over there. Mama? Yeah. Where's your glasses? Oh. No, I don't know. What else do I don't know. Mama, tell them what you're up to. I'm going to make some chili because this time we're going to cook up. Cook up over here. So. I'm going to cook enough for uh, some hot dog chili, maybe some tacos, and maybe even make a little hot and burger chili. Oh, you're doing a lot of burger. Yeah, because I bought it while it's on sale. She bought it while it's on sale, and she's going to use it. So what I'm doing down here, I'll let you see what I'm up to. I am on the chore board, and I am just cutting up some. Now, normally I don't use the day onions for chili because they're sweeter, but I do have a big old powerful part of a yellow onion here, and that will that'll put the onion flavor to it. The day onions, is, these are very good, and they're sweeter than the others, but now they're, they do have a little oniony taste to them. Which is what you want in the onion. And I already had it cut, so I'm just going to finish it up. Waste not, won't not. So, that's what we're up to. Mama's over on the big stove tonight, and she's got the chili going, uh, or the meat going, and I, we're going to add this onion right in there, which I'm trying to hurry and get it done. And then I'm just going to put some hot dogs in the micro pro grill. And grill them up good because it's fast and easy. Now, I would take them outside and build a fire and do all that because that is one of my favorite ways to have them. But, who's got time for that mess? Especially on tonight. It's been a hectic day at work today. It's been a hectic week. Have y'all ever had those? I don't know what's going on. That lunar eclipse, I'm blaming for everything. Did y'all see the lunar eclipse? A lot of people didn't even know it was coming, um, but they said I didn't see it in person. I watched it the next day on Facebook and everywhere else, but I didn't see it in person. I'm not one to stand around in the middle of the night looking up at the sky. I went out too late. Mama says she went out too late, but we thought it was 12 something. You was out there at 12, wasn't you? I am 12. Mama went out. Mama's a sky watcher. Now, I'm not so much. If there's one coming, it better get here early. Because now I can't get up at 12 or 1 to go out and see the sky. I'm by the lunar in the, that kind of stuff like I am the awards. I will never set up and watch an award because they'll show the highlights the next day. So, I'll just catch the highlights. You know, we all know what happened at the last the awards. I didn't even know the awards was going on until the next day when it was all talking about the big hit. And I've seen it plenty. I didn't have to sit up and watch it. i seen every bit of it. Didn't even like it when I seen it the first time. Nevertheless, the 50th time. So, in today's society, You'll catch about everything. That's the reason I don't watch the news anymore. I come in in the morning, and usually Alexa will give you the highlights if you ask her to. And uh, if not, the highlights of whatever's went on will be on the news. If you want to watch it for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes of the morning anyway, on our local stations, I don't know about yours, but we get about 15, 20 minutes of news, and then we get about 10 times repeating it. So you don't have to watch long. And um, it's just funny to me. But anyway, I don't know how I got started on that. But it's just the lunar eclipse, the lunar eclipse and everything being crazy. Seems like it's been an extra rough week. But you have those. You have good days, you have better days. You know, every day is a good day. Sometimes you have better days. You all ever have those? Good and better days. I'm, I don't ever like to say a bad day if I can keep from it because if you're breathing and you're living, you're having a good day. You could have a better one, maybe. It's a hectic one, maybe. But you're having a good day. Are you ready for some onion, Mom? I've got it in my 
Oh, you didn't put onion in? No. I put the meat in already. Oh, uh, okay. So you ready for some onion? I'm going to put this in that one. I know, Mama. Mama's got her another bowl of onions. We've got onions stuck in bowls. We've got onions stuck in Ziploc bags. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. So what are y'all up to today? Hello from Ohio. Well, hello, Kathy. How are you? How's things in Ohio? It is uh, 81 degrees here at 607, and that's pretty warm for us. Usually in the evening, it's kind of cooling down. Now, it's Friday, Saturday, Monday. It was cold. Monday night it was cold. Wasn't it Monday night, Mama? Yeah. Monday night it was cold. It was like, it was like October or September. But now, it has been warm. I've been sitting on the porch till 9.30 or 10. Why you sit out on the porch that night for a while? It didn't faze you that it was chilly. Yeah. Oh, I sit out that cold night? I think you did. It was a little bit early. I sat out there till 8-ish. But I've been sitting out there late. Just sit out there with Miss Maggie. I, you know, I, I sit out there till Maggie says, let's go in. Don't go to bed. Now, I didn't sit because he was a little. When, when Mikey goes out there, I hate to ask her to come in and her want to lay there or her want to sniff around a while because she's such a good dog. She don't bark and carry on bad. Every once in a while she will, but and she just does anything she's asked to do and she's no problem except when you take her to the groomer. And then she embarrasses the whole family. It's awful. <laughs> I won't even go in. <laughs> if I go to if I have to go to a different grammar, I'm gonna tell my name Smith or Jones or some common used name. Brown's a popular name. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna own up to my real name. I'm sorry. The Smith dog is Look at that. Onions, piles of onions, that's for chili. As much chili as mama says she's making, I may have more onion duty to do. I've not really checked with her. Mama, how much onions you want? Mama went to the store today. This is, look, she bought me some real bacon bits. She said, I thought there was some there. She don't even like them. I like them second to real, to actual cooked bacon. How much onions do you want, Mama? Well. I mean, you, you got a lot of chili cooking to talk about over there. I thought about Four or five pounds. Or Four or five pounds. Look at it over here. Do you want me to look at the chili? Love that. Like chili. You want me to and all of us over, Mama? Yeah, if you want to. Folks, I'll try to go real slow, like, and not get you to all. Motion sickness. See, watch this how slow. Okay, Mama. Show us what you're up to. I believe it might be another onion. It was quite a bit. Is that enough onion? I think it is. It's a show sure enough peppermores in it. Well, you put your onion in there too, so that bowl. What was that bowl left over from? Uh, I don't know. It had green and uh, over oh, the no. Huh? Over the salad. Oh. I was using the chopper on it. I didn't have time to crumble, crumble, crumble. You want to do that? If you want to. Now we'll let this boil. This is, well, Mama, I don't, this is going to be hot dog, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get out a little and put in a kettle and just fix us some hot dogs and save the rest of the meat in case we want tacos or bowl chili. Or okay, but we're not going to. You're, you're fixing this like hot dog with a little bit of water. And yeah. Well, did you put a little coffee in? No, I didn't put the coffee. I just I wet, the, wet the bottom of the pan, put a little water in the bottom of the pan oh. so I could get it going. Uh, some of that was brown chug, but most of that is a hamburger. And you know, they put yeah. water. 
Yeah, they put water in hamburger. So now all that has to do is just finish cooking and brown. It's all chopped up. You can see how fine it is. The water pools it. it needs to get, to get hot now. Scooted off the burner somewhere. Okay. There it is, folks. There's the hot dog chili, bowl chili, taco meat to be. Mama's just sort of doing all in one. <sighs> I bought us another taco kit with the soft and... Oh, you bought another taco kit? Yeah. Since I had all this hamburger meat, and I like to cook it up. And Mama we likes can tacos. Freeze, we can freeze it. Well, so much you got there. That's the... McCormick chili. Yeah. If it hadn't been a big thing, or I wouldn't have been able to see it down there. You want the Maxine chili powder? Uh, I don't know where it was at. I just sent it. It's in there. Mama uses mixing. My papa always used mixing. And then we use McCormick. This is McCormick original chili powder. And this is the mixing chili powder. And it's chili powder seasoning. If you've ever used this. I thought you might have added some, but no. This is some good stuff. It gives you good, powerful flavor. And of course, salt and pepper. I can smell the aroma in that next scene. And it smells totally different than this. So we use a little blend of both. This is what happened that time. Mama tells the story about making it too hot. <laughs> she put this in there twice instead of putting half this and half this. And she, she got a little warmer than she normally does. <laughs> you can get this online. This came from Amazon, and I think I've got it on our link. If I don't, I'll put it on there. Um, but that's what we're up to tonight. Um, you want to get you want to get the hot dogs and the grill out, um, or is you going to do them a different way? No, I'm just going. I'm going to take some of this out and go ahead and make my hot dog chili because it will cook. So much faster. Okay, so you're gonna separate out now. Yeah. She normally does that if she's gonna do hot dog chili, because we do a little different for hot dog chili and bowl chili. Uh, we put kidney beans and pinto beans and all that good stuff in our bowl chili. And in our hot dog chili, we just want meat and chili powder and onions and that's about you know and a little cocoa, little cocoa for the end and. Uh, it's delicious. Y'all got our chili recipe. Mama, has, we've made it on here about 114 gazillion times. So the recipe is floating around out there somewhere. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut up a tomato. These are the vine wrappers. We love those. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, core, uh, dice it up. And then I'm gonna put that on top of the hot dogs. And then I'm gonna have to get another one of them Vidalia onions and get some um, dice on it because I put it all in the pot and I want some raw onions for the top of the hot dog. And we always do that. So I like tomatoes. I also like sauerkraut on them. Oh, I bought you a bag of sauerkraut. Did you buy sauerkraut? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll eat that tonight, but I do like that on them. But I like sauerkraut just by itself. I am a sauerkraut kind of person. Um, I think I take after Dad. Um, he used to get on, we called it the Don Davis kick. And um, he would eat kraut and he would eat out of a can or the bag, either one we had. And he homemade, would, he'd just get the jar and a spoon. He loved homemade. He loved homemade. But anyway, he would he would get on a kraut kick, and he would eat kraut every day for maybe a week. One time he got on olives, and I bought him some jumbo olive jars. It's uh, Sam's wholesale food. That's when he quit eating it. And uh, he had him about two or three of them big jars, and he quit eating them. He would get on frosted mini wheats, and uh, he would eat those. Now this is after he got sick. Every day. 
he loved them. And uh, then he just quit them. But he loved them anyway. And uh, so I do that. I'll get on a kick and I want something. Maybe I'm really wanting taco flavor and I'll have tacos every way you can. Then I'll be over it for a while and I'll move on to something else. Then I'll get on to maybe um, chili. Now, we're not seasonal on chili. We're seasonal on some things. We don't do a lot of vegetable soup. Except when all the vegetables in the garden in August. We usually use, do have a good soup then now. But um, we don't do a lot of seasonal food, period. We'll eat anything anytime we get in the notion for it. Usually around July or so, I get in the notion for Thanksgiving. And I'll say, Mama, let's do some turkey and dressing. And she'll say, okay, let's have it. So uh, we usually do that around, you know, sometime before before it's too close to Thanksgiving and when it ain't been too far, about halfway through, we want some better. Thanksgiving. <laughs> but we uh, we like different stuff like that. But Dad would get on kicks. And it was like he just was craving that one thing. Do you have an onion you want me to use? You want a fidelia? I'll go get whatever you tell me to get, Mama. Well, I was going to get you. If you're going to eat it like on that, I was going to go get one of them good ones. Let's get a good one. Somebody saying, I'll get it. I just want to know what you want. Mama is like a jackrabbit. You can't outdo Mama. She is on the go 24 7. I believe she's on the go in the middle of the night sometimes. I <laughs> think These are very good. Uh, just give me whatever you want me to have there and I'll I'm cut just it. going to give you the top one. <laughs> They're all like out the same, huh? I'll cut it. Yeah. And we'll start us another used onion supply here. How's that? Do y'all keep a used onion supply? A lot of people won't because they We always have an onion on the go, seems like to me. We, we keep an onion in the refrigerator. Well, there's a certain place Mama keeps them, and I go there first. If there's not one there, I know we need an onion guy. And I store them usually just in the thing, and I put them in a Fruit Smart. Uh, I don't know if you're even supposed to use Fruit Smart, but I put them in a the bag first, and I leave the bag open, and that keeps it from kind of smelling a little bit. You can't really keep an onion from smelling, but we try. Another thing, if you have leftover tomatoes, Does this say how much? I can't Mama is, she'll use like a aroma tomato for lunch, and she will, what am I looking for? I've got like a pound. Didn't you say that was a pound? Or yeah, that's a pound. Or more. Here, you want me to do it? Yeah. Well, just hand it over here, Mama, and I'll show you. Let me get some. Um, Mama will eat a Tomato for lunch. Better go hunt my glasses. Well, yeah, we kind of need to know where they are. I'm going to put this. Mama's got That's the chips. That's strange. What? That I don't even know when I'll cut my skin and mom. I hope I didn't knock them off down in the basement. Well, Mama, you've been in the basement? Yeah. What was you doing down there? Getting flowers. So I'm going to put a good teaspoon. You got two teaspoons in this amount of meat. This is the mixed scene, and it's a little more potent, I think, or we think. And this one, I'm gonna put about one teaspoon in. It's Memorial Day time. Memorial Day in the South has always been a very special day. And that's how much I'm putting in total. Um, used to, Memorial Day was the time around here that families would gather in the cemetery and they would take their food, their drinks, it was a picnic, and they would go and they would spend all day. There wasn't a lot of per perpetual care and stuff in cemeteries. So May would come around and it would be uh, time to decorate, decoration day. And so February, March, and April, whenever they got a chance, they would make 
paper mache flowers. And a lot of times they would dip them. Crepe paper, paper Molly said. A lot of times they would dip them in wax, and sometimes um, they wouldn't. Paraffin wax. But they would make these beautiful flowers, stems and all, and they would decorate graves with them. And they'd put them in arrangements, or they would just lay them out loose. And uh, this ain't got no tomato in it. Oh, no, it's it, not like nothing except onions and meat. But I wanted that chili in there to... I think it needs a little more chili powder than what I put. My coffee does. More meat than you would think in there, but don't y'all think it needs a little more chili powder? I think so. But anyhow, they would make the flowers out of crepe paper, and they would roll them, and they would make petals, and they they were pretty. Um, I'm gonna put another teaspoon of mixing. What kind? What kind of winners are you wanting? Um, I'll take a Brock's and a regular. A Brock's and a mm -hmm. And then you get your paste out or any of that? I'm not going to have Okay. Anyway, back to the story. So they would make these beautiful flowers and they would dip them in paraffin wax and they would hold up a day or two longer. But they would go to the cemetery and they would clean the graves, and they would clean around the graves, and they would get everything just so-so, and they would spend the day, and they would eat, and everybody was there, and it was a big community event, really. And they would all make a big day of it. And um, I remember, even when I was a kid, it wasn't as many people, but any time you went to the cemetery on Memorial Day weekend, you would find a group of people there, and of course you'd have to stop and talk to them. And you might talk for Aaron, might talk for Aaron Hyde. It was just a big thing, and it was always cleaning, and people would bring lawn mowers and weed eaters and whatever, and they would clean. Aaron, they no Mama's correct to be on that right now. In my time. In her time, they wasn't none of that. In my time, there was. But uh, they had hoes and sickles. Um, big. You know, the big blades, they call them sickles. Anyway, that's how they clean their graves. But um, it was a big event. It was Memorial Day. And uh, it's still a big deal around here. We decorate. Decoration Day is what my granny used to call it. But we decorate the graves and you make flowers. You can buy them in places, but a lot of people make them in... Uh, since we had a flower shop, we've got the stuff to make them. And so we usually make our own. We make dads. What'd you say? I need dad open. And these brats. Well, Here's the brats we're having. These are the snook brats of farm. That's only one thing. Farming towels. That's what we had. That's what we had at the store. That's what we're using. These are not hard to open. Do you want brats? Uh, no, I better not. Yeah, there's the brats. I'm just going to lay it here in the micro pub grill. We like this because it's quick and easy. And I like this because it's got a Ziploc on it. But we would go and do that at the cemetery and you decorate. So we, uh, we make our own flowers. Sometimes we buy a few, but we mostly make our own. And so that'll be our little chore in between work and what we're doing and uh, filming. We'll be making flowers. If we get into it real good, we might show y'all some of it. But uh, that's this time of the year. Uh, it's over on that other side, I believe, Mama. I'll get it. We uh, will do that, and we'll make we'll make flowers, and we'll make them for the family. We make them, and uh, usually you have saddles, and that's the ones on top of the stone. And you have vases, then you have sprays, and you have baskets. And we usually make a little of all that. And Mama's even got a few graves. It's uh, has shepherd's hooks, which is the rod iron. My brothers. Her brothers, two brothers and a grandma and a grandpa. 
They don't have stones that you can put in the sound. So the, the shepherd sticks come up and they come down and curl and you put a wire, your fire arrangement on it. So we'll have about 20 or 30 arrangements to make. And uh, we do that every year. I always have. And then for several years, we ran, put in there for six minutes. Uh, for several years, we ran fire shop out of Mama's garage, and um, we would take orders from other people. And they would. But when COVID hit, everything changed, and uh, we didn't do that anymore. COVID has changed a lot of things. Some things I don't know that will ever change back. Some things I think they will permanently changed. I thought I was still had the chili over here. I wasn't paying no attention. But there's, <laughs> there is your paste. Mom. I stole it while I had it. You never get the Greek seasoning. Yeah, I can't reach it. It's too. Well, too come over here and talk to Mama for just a second, and I'll go dig out everything you need. You will. I will. You know I will. Unless I'm you want to go get a ladder or something, start climbing like up on the cabinets and stuff. We don't do that, do we, Mom? Everybody's knowing you're telling a story, Mom. I'm gonna chunk this onion up right here just to have a little taste. Just a little taste. This was just an impromptu tonight. We had planned nothing and we got nothing ready. Most of the time, I spin around here and get everything I can think of ready. And then you all see Mama spin around getting the rest of everything ready. And uh, we pull it together pretty quick. But tonight, I said, we're out of time, Mama. I'm going to go ahead and get this started, and we'll just do it as we do it. So y'all hang on just a second. I'll let you just look here at this wonderful wooden tray of goodness. Mama, come over here and talk to me, and I'll gather all your stuff there. Show them your mail. Oh, my mail. Ooh. I just don't get my glasses so I can see. Show them your mail. Oh, this is what? You'll probably have to readjust that uh, camera a little bit. Ooh, I'm not good at this. Help You're me. learning, Mama. Okay. Uh, I better open this up. It's a, oh, I get to sit in the king chair. <laughs> king? <laughs> Mama, there's only one royalty, that's you. You're the queen, and I wear your set. Mine well, is a princess, you say. Oh, that's the truth. I answer to both of you, is all I know. I answered about. Is this G U Y guy? G U I guy. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the last time. D and Jim guy sent this this cup, and it's of me and Donnie, and it says, "Blessed John and Mama," on the side of it. You can see it right there, and there's one picture, and then on this side we've got on different clothes, and another picture of them. And I said, and I'm liking in both of them. And then this one, I must have uh, uh, embarrassed Johnny in front of his friends because look at that look on his face <laughs> and me laughing at it. <laughs> Mama, so I, don't know I figured that was it. But this is D and Jim Guy from Quebec, Tennessee, and sent a beautiful card. And I said, I just love that. And I cherish all these cups with our picture on it. Stuff. I really enjoy getting them. Yeah. And this, somebody felt sorry for me when I peeled 10 pounds or more of potatoes for church dinners. Uh, and this is Rona, R O N A, and I can't pronounce that last name. Ear populous? Populous? Spell it. Huh? Just spell it. S P E R O P O U L O S. And this is really 
it says uh, a manual peeler. And this is a potato peeler. It's the right side. I was seeing it with a potato um, peeler. I said, isn't that neat? I'll put it up straighter. See, you can tell I'm not in the camera business because I had that crooked as a dog. <laughs> but that is so neat, and I thank her. And when I'm peeling all those potatoes for get-togethers or uh, church dinners and stuff, I believe that will come in very handy. And Johnny, I need you to take your chair back because I'm not good at this. <laughs> well, Mama, you know what I'm not good at? Oh. It's locating that great season you want. Well, we don't have to have it. There. It ain't here. It is here somewhere. You've moved it. No, I'm not the spice mover. He is. I think you moved it, Mama. Mm. Yeah. Well, Mama, it's not you. slap your mama. The, no, the slap your mama is hot. The Greek seasoning. I don't know where you put up the food for cake. I just stirred that. It ain't stirred. Mama did a good job. Mama, I think you should take over the camera. No, did you put salt and pepper on I did not. I didn't do any of that. I stirred. Don't you think this is making water? I boiled and boiled and boiled. I tell you, a lot of times you get hamburger and it has been soaked in water. I believe it. Oh, this is like, make, it's made water. <sighs> okay, Mama. It's good. That chili will be fine with that Greek seasoning. Greek seasoning adds a little something to it, but it'll be fine. Awesome gift for you both. Isn't it wonderful? Um... This mug, look at that. Excuse me. Mama says I'm a bit embarrassed in front of my <coughs> friends on this one. I don't remember. I'll have to watch the video just to see. But this potato pillar, I can't wait to try it. Um, they just come today. Those they just come today. I remember back in the 80s, my great aunt got a potato pillar. And she was in her 80s. And... Uh, we went out there and she said, I want you to look what they brought in here to me. And it was a big old metal thing. And you had to lay down flat. And you put the potato in there and you twisted this thing up on it. And then you cranked it and a blade came down and peeled it. And I remember as a kid thinking, wow. She said, I ain't using it. And that makes, it reminds me of Mama. My Mama says she ain't using something. You gonna use this one, Mama? Would that be eight bad? Ain't Bell. Yes, I remember Ain't Bell. Get that. Mm -hmm. Are you going to use this potato pillar, Mama? I probably will try it, but I'm telling 10 to 15 pounds of potatoes. I believe it can be very handy. Well, Mama, I mean, Mama, your chili smells delicious. This I want be... you to taste it. Let's see if it's on the right track or not. This is going to be awesome on these chili dogs that we're fixing to put together. Here you go, sir. Taste it there. See if it needs a, a doubt. And this other. I'm the royal taster. For the queen. Are y'all tasters out there? Hello from Nova Scotia. Well, hello, Judy. How are you? Hey, Nancy. Tell me where I How do I get this set? Uh, Nancy, there will be a link on after this video. There was a link on after last night's video. So if you want to go back to last night's, you can go ahead and order it now. Or I'll stick it on the end of this one as soon as we get through with this video. Do you need crap or... Mm. For, your, uh, for my hot dog? Yeah. Okay. I probably will take a little crap, Mama. Look it's at this crap. Look we have. They look great. Okay, I put these in. Um, I put these. I didn't put these in here. <laughs> I like these in the back. You can see the crap, and it's a good white crap. You don't want it to turn too dark. It's got a different flavor. My uncle used to pride himself on his white. Crap. He made wonderful crap. Um, he used, what was it, distilled water? Uh, he had mountain spring water. He had spring water. He, he used it. said don't use cold water. Don't use chlorine water, he said. He didn't call it the city water, he got it chlorine water. But, I had a lady told me that she used the chlorine water. Made it white? And she said it was wonderful. Huh. 
That might be the way to go. I've bought spring water. It's something about it in there. It needs it to, mm. to get it. I don't know if it's... Kraut is just fermented cabbage, by the way. Uh, I don't know if it's nice to say this way, but foreign water is too clean to make the crowd. Because <laughs> it's permanent. It kills yeah, the good bacteria. It kills all of that out, so. If you'll... Um, oh, you need a spoon. Don't well, you? Yeah, but we, if you'll come over here, we'll bless it, and then you can eat. Okay. Well. And we'll get started here. Somebody got a Hey Mama joke tonight? Hello from Niagara Falls, New York. Gail, yeah. we was up there a few years back. Niagara Falls. Beautiful. Get wet. It was cool. It was during the summer and it was refreshing. Me and my sister, we bought big, thick, hooded New York sweatshirts from a thing. Because we were going out on the ferry and we was so cold on the land, we thought we'd better get us some more clothes. In June or July. <laughs> All right, Mom, let's bless it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And Lord, as we come to you tonight, we know there's a lot of hurt and we know there's a lot of pain out there, dear Lord. And we just pray that you'll touch and heal. And dear Lord, we just pray that there's a need that you'll answer in your time and your glory. In your name we pray and ask these sons. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama, um, I'll get the buns. I'll get them. I'm gonna, I can't eat with your onions, Lord, but you'll wash I'm sorry. She can't eat with my onion garbage. Like Did you drop the set out of your ring? I wished you'd have been a set out of your ring. Uh, and I cut all the onions up because that's what she told me to do. Well, I don't like the garbage left laying there. Yes, ma'am. We all know that about you, Mama. We expect it, don't we? Yeah, do y'all okay. expect Mama to clean with her time? When you sit down to eat, you don't want to look at anything. Even a hot dog. You ain't going to sit down at Mama's table. Unless everything is just so-so to her. I don't want to look at onions, garbage. No, ma'am. We don't. <laughs> there you go. Get you some things. Let's see. What else? I've got the mustard. Do you want something else? No. Do you want some brown spicy mustard? No. I'm good, Mama. We've got it under control. What are you going to drink? I'm going to okay. drink that coffee right there. Mama, I'm going to let you fix your hot dog because I'm going to. we did different things on hot dogs. I've got a good spoon. i got to get this. Cry out loud. And if you'll put that brat on here. Ooh. That's a little warm, man. Yeah, that caught warm sitting there. It wasn't that bad when I took it out. No, it's just sitting there heating. Sitting. Let me, let me, hand me that pot holder and I'll show them those. Some people have what, asked us about the Micro Pro. I just need one. I need one, though. <laughs> uh, about the Micro Pro, it browns them perfectly. That's why we like them. And you can just keep turning them however you want to turn them. But they're good and brown. And someone said the other day when we fixed hamburgers that they would never eat a hamburger out of the microwave. Well, probably wasn't a hot dog either. Yeah, Probably oh. wasn't a hot dog either. But when they come out like that, or they come out a good browned hamburger, you can count me in because there was no mess, there was no oil, these didn't have a drop of oil, there was nothing. Pan and hot. Pan and hot, and it was done in six minutes. And that's what we got in six minutes. And delicious. I'm going to tilt you down here where you can see. This is fine china tonight. Break out the fine china as often as you can. Some meals just aren't fine china accessible, but it's less dishes to wash, less cleanup, less problems. We normally don't for supper, but if it's a hot dog or a sandwich, or even a hamburger sometimes, we will. And you've got things to do. You don't want to wash food with dishes and all that stuff. No, ma'am. Nobody's got time for that. Mama, are you on onion? Yeah. Might as well. Let me put my mustard on. You didn't want onion? Mm -hmm. Just, you know me, just a little. That's just the smell of it. How about tomato? 
Not right yet. I my chili. I want my tomato on top. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. I'm going to put me a little bit of this crap. I'll just take it right out of this bag, folks. Like we said, it's already you firm. You did taste of this, didn't you? I did taste of it. Yes, okay. ma'am. Kraut's already fermented, and it's going to be some delicious kraut on there. Oh, did you want cheese? That's what I started to No, ma'am. Started to get out. No, ma'am. No cheese on hot dog. I'm not. If it's a little bit of shredded cheddar, I might put a little. But there's I'm not, cheddar. There's Italian. There's a But I don't use Mexican. A I don't mozzarella. normally go that route. I've got three or four different kinds today. <laughs> Fresh grated bag cheese? Yeah. Easy. Now, do you want that tomato in that, Mama? Yes, please. I'll give us a, a napkin. I can reach it. Little bit of tomato. Could have used a spoon on this. I know yeah. somebody will tell me that, but I just didn't have one, and this knife works fine. I had a fork somewhere. It might have been a little bit. Uh, you, no, I've got this thing right here, Mom. All right, Mama, you give it a whirl. I need to cut it in two with that knife. You just dip them tomatoes with. Thank you want me to cut it for you? I'll put it back in. Thank you, Dom. All right, let's try this. Chili, a little bit of kraut. Mmm, that kraut's good. Let me get this brought. I want to taste it out. Chili. Get one big bite of goodness of everything. A little bit of onion. And a little bit of tomato. Mm -hmm. All the goodness. And it turned out very well. <laughs> it did, Mama. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can come up with a Hey Mama. We call a loaded dog, yeah. I don't see a Hey Mama on here tonight. So, may I have a Hey Mama to add? Tell you what, y'all save it up for tomorrow. You'll be ready. Mm. And we'll have Hey Mama's tomorrow night. Looks delicious. Thank you. That chili looks so good. It is good. Mama makes some of the world's best chili. I'm going to mm. tell you. She taught me how to make it. Look at that. that that's perfect hot dog chili. Bold chili would have some beans and some more stuff in it, but that's perfect for hot dog chili. Having chicken and, and dressing. Yeah, oh, see, that's wow. wonderful. Funny how... Yeah, oh, Elizabeth, that's a training thing. She's trained herself. And we didn't even have no click-click tonight. Usually, as soon as she hears that fork, <laughs> she probably heard this. Um, she just knows. She knows when it's time. She comes running in to check it out. And we don't feed her that much off the table. Occasionally, we will. And and I'll put sometimes put some of her treats up here and just give her one or two of them so she thinks she's eating this other stuff. I'll have to confess, I'm a little sloppy. And she cleans up after me. <laughs> Mama will give her a pinch of this or a pinch of that weenie especially. She'll end up with one of those wings that we cooked. I guarantee it. No, I get with another. She's got a pack of wings. She's got her own wings. We do give her wings occasionally. Especially with medicine. <laughs> mm. Folks, we're going to go. We're going to say you all have a wonderful night. Do something great. The sun is out. It's pretty here. I hope it is where you are. It's 15 to 7. Well, mm. it's 14 to 7. And um, you've got plenty of time. Plenty of time to enjoy the evening or go to church or whatever you do. And uh, you enjoy yourselves, and we will see you all, hopefully, Lord willing, tomorrow. But have a wonderful evening. Have a great, restful night oh, yes. and a good Thursday. Remember, you only have good days and better days. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.